Large underage drinking bus. Rhode Island's underage drinking task force has made a significant bus. Right now, 30 people are facing charges after being swept up in stings at two local establishments. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us in our studio with tonight's top local story. Well, in less than one hour, the newly formed task force cited 30 underage drinkers at two Providence clubs. We're told most are local college students, and leaders with Mothers Against Drunk Driving hope this latest sting sends a strong message as the holidays approach. Just after midnight Thursday, multiple state agencies raided the fish company on South Water Street. Inside, authorities arrested 26 underage drinkers caught in the act. It was a little disappointing only because I know that, like, media-wise, it's been out there and people knew that they were coming and that they were going to be very vigilant, extra vigilant, heightened, heightened awareness. And um, evidently, you know, some people weren't worried about that. At the same time, the Underage Drinking and Nightclub Safety Task Force moved in on the Roxy on Washington Street, netting another four arrests. During both stings, state police seized numerous fake IDs, mainly from local college students. It's services of law enforcement like this that will turn it around. Um, people have been very arrogant about this, and not all, though. There have been some really good club owners, but some people are letting things fall through the cracks. The task force, which includes state police, the Department of Business Regulation, and the state fire marshal's office, uses a team approach to check safety issues within bars and clubs. Since its launch, the group has already arrested nearly 20 underage drinkers at establishments across the state, and we're told these busts will continue. That additional arm of safety is a huge thing that we've needed. So, it, yeah, it's putting a beacon on it, and it's saying that, boy, you know, we knew it was bad. This is really bad. Now all 30 suspects are charged with unlawful drinking. We reached out to both cabars for comment. A manager at Fish Company tells us he has no comment, and numerous calls we made to the Roxy went unanswered. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.